and welcome to a new video. So today I have some very fun things uh, planned. First, I have a newborn session with a little girl. Afterwards, I have a kicksmith session. So here I have uh, the first setup. I really like this backdrop. I haven't used it in a while. Um, just some purple tones, dusty pinks. I have them here. I have some ochre yellow maybe as well, just ready to go. And here I have like a little beige pants. Here I want to go with some grays. And parents are sitting there. I'm really excited to use this setup. So I will use a layer underneath this to wrap the baby. This I'll place on the wood maybe instead of the burlap or with the burlap. And then I have these little plants, fake plants, um, to uh, create the look. here setting up for a cake smash session there you see the cake and so yeah i just finished with the newborn session with the little girl beautiful little girl and um i have a little package to open i'm really excited to see what's inside it's a t-shirt um so yeah as you can see i normally in the studio wear jeans with a very plain t-shirt or like loose fitting blouse or i wear yoga leggings with then a little dress or a tunic or something uh, but i don't ever have like cool photography related t-shirts 
So this company approached me and showed me their website and said if and asked me if I would um, like it, if they would send me a t-shirt. Um, so I picked out a design that I really like and a color and they sent it to me. So I'm really curious to see what it looks like and then I'm gonna wear it during shoots probably. Um, their website looks really nice as well. They have really nice photos on their website and they designed their own uh, t-shirts. Oh, that looks really nice. Here, stories to tell, adventures to live. So it's a size small. I'm just gonna put it on right now. It does seem quite wide and not super long. I have quite a long torso. Um, so I'm really curious to see what it looks like. I, I like to tuck like the front in my jeans roll up the sleeves a little bit. So this is what it looks like. I think the print is really cute. So yeah, thank you so much girls from breezelystore.com uh, for sending me this uh, really cool t-shirt. I really like it. So here you can see the cake and the decor. The cake is from my usual, usual baker. So I thought as I'm waiting for my cake smash clients to come, I could share with you which pillows I use uh, underneath my backdrop um, on the beanbag for during newborn sessions. I still have stuff here from this morning's newborn session. This is the last backdrop we used. So I have always pretty much one little pillow underneath my backdrop and it's just a little rectangular pillow which I made myself. It's very easy to make um, and I have it here so that there's like a little bump here for the baby's head and then the body will be here. So there's a little din here in the beanbag but not enough. So I have this pillow here and I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So yeah, I'm wearing my cool new t-shirt. Anyway, so this is the pillow that's always underneath my backdrop. It's just a pillow I made myself. You can kind of see it's one hand high and one and a half hands long. Just to give you the measurements, international measurements, hands. Anyway, so this pillow is pretty much here so that when the baby is like lying on the side, they have a little pillow lying on the back, they have a little pillow. And also when I do the bum up position, so their baby's like here, knees are tucked underneath the belly. Um, they have a little pillow here. And what I then usually, what I then sometimes do, like I place this little foot on the other foot. Um, I sometimes use the smallest bean that I have, which I just dropped here, underneath the legs. So just to lift them up a little bit and then I can always adjust this pillow. Sometimes I slide it forth a little bit more. Sometimes I press this part inside. If the baby's really squishing their face into the pillow, I will just fold the pillow like this underneath the backdrop. So for the bum up position, I use two pillows. Not always, sometimes just one. This doll is just from a regular toy store. It was six euros, uh, so it does not cooperate. <laughs> or move like a real newborn would. It's also a bit smaller than a real newborn. Then for the head on hands pose, I use my biggest bean, and that's this one, as you can see. And I place it underneath the backdrop here. So the baby has something to lie on. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna place it on top. So like here you can see, here's my bean back. And with this pillow on top, um, the baby's in a very comfy position and if they are really like moving forward I can just drag this pillow a little bit away from them to lift up their heads a little bit. So those are the pillows I use on the beanbag. It's just these three pillows. My other beans I use in props. So for example here I have the bowl. So I always do one big pillow underneath their heads. If I want the baby to face that way I might just add another pillow under here. So they are kind of like, almost like lying like this. So two beans underneath. So yeah, that's where I place my posing pillows for now 
uh, underneath my beanbag. I might get some different posing pillows in the future. Um, I know that the original photo blocks has some really cool posing pillows which have, it's like a longer pillow and then two tiny pillows on the side to lift up the elbows a little bit more. Um, so I might look into that at some point, but for now it's just this for the head on hands and then this for the bum up. I could do maybe this for the bum up as well, but I really like my pillow. This pillow I've been using for like five, six years. I made it myself, very basic, very small, and it works. my session and such a beautiful girl again always they're always so beautiful um so she didn't really eat the cake i don't think she took one bite like her mom fed her a little bit but she was not really uh, having it uh, but she enjoyed um smashing the cake which is what she came for so, so that's great of course they're taking the cake home and the, uh, she brought her big brother as well who is so excited to eat the cake so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video about where i place my posing pillows underneath the blankets on the beanbag so yeah thank you so much for watching please like subscribe leave a comment show these girls some love by checking out their website and then uh, i'd love to read your comments i always love reading your comments and then if you reply within 24 hours after i post this video i will respond to your comments um and then um yeah subscribe that would be cool thank you for watching bye bye